Hi, I'm John from Joomlart, and today we'll talk about how to customize the footer information for templates developed with T3 Framework. The footer block of T3 Blank Template has three info areas, T3 Footer Logo, Bootstrap Copyrights, and T3 Copyrights, and you can customize any of this information. First, let's customize the T3 Footer Logo by simply turning it off. You can disable the logo with one click by opening the Template Manager, and in the Global tab, disable the option T3 Logo, and then save the setting. Perhaps you just want to customize the style of the logo. The footer logo is defined in the file footer.php that's found in the folder templates slash t3 underscore bs3 underscore blank slash tpls slash blocks. You can change the class and the link. And let's go out to the front page and reload. You see, the logo style has been updated. You can also change the logo's image and size. Open the t3.less file in the folder plugins slash system slash t3 slash base bs3 slash less. You'll find the supported class for footer logo here. And let's customize the t3 logo dark class. We've changed the logo image. You can set a different logo image for small screens like tablets and mobile. Now view the front page and reload. The new logo is updated, but the width seems a little limited, so let's change that. Let's make the width 300 pixels and the height 40 pixels, and also change the size in small screens. Reload the front page, and our logo now looks great. Next, let's customize the Bootstrap copyright information area. This info is located in the footer.php file found in the folder templates slash t3 underscore bs3 underscore blank slash tpls slash blocks. You see the info and you can customize it to whatever you want or as we'll do right now, just delete it. The bootstrap copyrights information has been deleted. Finally, let's configure the T3 copyrights information area. This info is located in the default.php file that you'll find in templates slash T3 underscore BS3 underscore blank slash HTML slash mod underscore footer folder. And now customize the information. Reload the page, and that's it. The info is updated. And that is the end of our tutorial for today. Thanks again for watching, and check out more of our videos at youtube.com slash joomlart.